Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we are going to draw projection of solids with development. Now in this sum we have to draw front view, top view, left hand side view and development of a square prism of side 30 mm and axis height 60 mm which is resting on its base on HP with axis perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. See this. This is HP and VP I am drawing and in this two sides of the base are parallel to VP and perpendicular to VP. This is HP, this is VP, and I'm drawing a square prism. So square prism is standing like this. It is resting on HP, right? Resting on its base on HP and axis perpendicular to HP like this. Observer is seeing from here. So what he will see? He will see rectangle in front view and square in top view. So we'll draw this first. First, you will draw XY line. Then I will draw a square in top view. Because if you see the diagram, I can see square in top view. Always remember, whenever they say axis perpendicular to HP, top view will give you a true shape. So in this case, this is A, B, C, D. So when you see from the front, right, this is what you see. See, these two sides are perpendicular and these two sides are parallel. A, B, C, D, right? So A, D and B, C are perpendicular. This is X, Y. Height is 60. So I will take 60 mm up. So this is equal to axis height. Axis height is given 60. So that's why I took height of the prism 60. This is A dash. See this when you see from here A dash D dash and B dash C dash. These two sides are perpendicular to VP. Right? Now I'm finding out axis. O dash M dash. Now we can draw a side view also. So draw 45 degree. This is XY. Intersection of HPVP is XY. Project this. Wherever it will cut from there you go up. See this. This is side view. Always remember top view without dash, front view with dash and side view with double dash. If you see naming in side view, it will be double dash. This is OM in top view. I can extend this from here. Axis line in side view. This is C double dash, D double dash. So these two lines are parallel to vertical plane. See this C double dash D double dash and A double dash B double dash that is AB and CD are parallel to vertical plane. Now I'll draw development. 
what do you mean by development when you open it how it will look like let's say if you open this prism this is how it will appear so this is called total development with the flap and if you draw without the top and bottom square then it is called lateral surface development see this what i have done i have taken random line anywhere and after that i have cut ab then i am taking bc then cd and da because all those dimensions are same so i can take four times since it is a square prism i am taking it four times if it is pentagonal prism then i will take five times see i am writing xy here this is point a right a and development will be always capital b a to b b to c then take c to d and then take d to a then we join all these lines straight up height would be 60 So what you will get right now is called lateral surface development. In ICSC and and all everywhere they will ask you lateral surface development. We'll do total surface development only for the model making. In that case, when you want to draw, when you want to make a prism out of this, I'll show you that also. So we are done with this much part. Now I'm doing total surface development. So in that case you can draw these lines vertical lines anywhere you can draw then you take square side 30 and you cut on both the sides up as well as down so you'll get two square these are the top and the bottom surface of the solid if you see square prism is made up of four rectangular prism four rectangle and two squares right So this is what we got. This is total surface development. Now what we need to do? We need to give width to this total surface development and then we are going to cut it. See this. This is this. So now I'll give approximate width some around 5 mm. you can give it to the entire object entire development after this at every corner you draw a line like this see this 45 degree you can draw it freehand also why we are doing this because we need to cut this object and then we need to fold to make a 3d model of prism square prism so see from every corner i am taking a line at 45 degree So this is the final object what you will get and then you have to cut it so it will be like this when you cut it got it then what you need to do you need to fold all this edges see this then you cut then you fold all these edges this is how it will look fold each and every edge be careful hmm. 
make sure that you have those cut till those corners like you know when you're cutting it yeah make sure it's properly cut now i'm folding it see yeah now what you can do you can put a gum and you can paste it like this see this so then it's a square prism i'll just show it to you See this you apply gum on all these edges and you can stick like this so this is square prism see this so this is a square prism when you see from the top it looks like this square you can see right so this is square prism this is how it will look and when you open it this is how it will become development this is total surface development thank you